Hi, this is Steve, and right now I want to talk about community. Sorry, I'm in the, the dark. I want to try something new. Um, community. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something bl- blue. I took that from the old, the wedding thing. When people are getting married, giving good luck. Um, relationships are marriage. We come together for with people for a reason, a season, and a lifetime. We've all we've all heard that. Um, something new. We're going to come across a lot of people that will be new relationships. We don't know if we're just going to be meeting that person for a short period of time or if it's going to be a sustainable relationship. Even if we meet them for one chance meeting that's a short meeting, it can be very, very powerful. The the stuff and the connection that we have for that one time of meeting can be something that we draw from for the rest of our life really getting the most out of our relationships. That's why we have community, is to get more power and more light for our relationships, to strengthen our emotions. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Now I'm going to go back to something old. There's lots of old relationships of the past, even with social media. We're connecting with a lot of people from the past. Even though we've changed in a lot of ways, we can really start to engage certain things from we learned from in the past. And we may, even though we've, we've grown a lot in many different ways and they've grown a lot in a different direction, we may really see the impact of the time that we spent together with that person, with that community, to help us to get to the place that we are right now and not think anything differently or think that you're further away from them. It's just that you are in the place that you are based on that old relationship that could be sustainable or it could have been something that that somebody that's not around you anymore, but very, very powerful. Something old, something new, something borrowed. You may just be meeting with that person just for a, a borrowed relationship. You just be maybe passing and meeting with them once. For what I do, a lot of time I have a real strong connection with somebody. And then after I leave them, I was like, I haven't even gotten the person's name. But we had a powerful relationship that showed up at the right point in time. And we learned what we needed to learn and we each went back into our old worlds much better. New worlds, much better. Old worlds and new worlds, much better. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. This is the one that's the most important. A lot of us want to meet with those like-minded people. We want to meet with those people that uh, help us with our dreams. And a lot of times it's the dream killers. It's the people that don't believe in us, that hurt us to help us dig deep inside of us to a place that we didn't know existed. And that pain turns into something positive if we don't start to believe what that person told us or if we connect with the truth of what they told us and know that that truth does not have to exist in the future it may be a part of us that's holding on to a truth that existed in the past but it's up to us to feel that pain as I learned from Marty Murphy to feel that pain connect with it and then let go of the part of it that no longer serves us Thank you very much, and I love you for being part of my community.